In this episode of Marina Queen, I catch a crazy Moro Bay sunset, and I get underway with new crew, and we take on a night passage of Point Conception, and we're welcomed properly to Southern California. My name is Rick. Join me as I refit sailing vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. It's dusk. I just was napping and I got out of bed and you got to see this. This is what I saw when I looked out the companionway. Look at this. Well, I ended up spending three days in Morro Bay. I love that town, love it. So now it's the next morning and I'm expecting new crew. Chuck, we'll catch up with him as we head out of Morro Bay. I love sailing. God, I love sailing. Looks like we got a visitor. We're seeing whales, we're seeing dolphins, we're seeing birds working fish. Oh my God, we're seeing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> this is a beautiful trip so far. The wind is just perfect. The waves are nice. The sun is nice. Anytime you're doing a Pacific Coastal Passage from Central California with its center of gravity in San Francisco and Southern California with its center of gravity in Los Angeles, well, Point Conception is going to be the focus. That's where the most danger lies, for sure. There's danger everywhere. You can screw it up anywhere along the line, but the focus tends to be Point Conception. It's not really Point Conception. The challenging part is between Point Conception to the south and Point Arguello, about 10 miles to the northwest. That 10 mile stretch has the potential to be really nasty. And we're doing it at night. But as you can see from this footage, we have good weather. the Honda Point disaster. This happened in 1923. We had just fought the war to end all wars. We're in peacetime. Yeah, we're loving it. We're loving it. There's this captain who is in command of a squadron of Clemson class destroyers, 14 of them, in fact. His name is Captain Edward Watson. He's an 06 in the Navy. His squadron is out of San Diego. He's called to participate in Fleet Week in San Francisco. It's a big deal. So Fleet Week is a tradition, Navy, Coast Guard, Marine Corps, where a port city opens its doors to a whole bunch of military vessels. From those branches of service, the sailors enjoy themselves for a week. Uh, at that town, and it was a very big deal. In fact, President Coolidge was present at that year's Fleet Week. So Captain Watson being called to this event, he brings his whole squadron up there. Apparently during the ceremonies, there was some kind of collision. It's speculated that it was a source of some embarrassment for Captain Watson. When it came time to leave Fleet Week, he decided he was going to set a personal record for his squadron in terms of the amount of time and the speed with which they could get back to San Diego. And when they transit, they're transiting in formation. So when one turns, they all synchronize their movements so that they move as a squadron. And while the squadron's plotted course was intended to carry the ships south of Point Conception into the Santa Barbara Channel, following basically the same course we just followed, for whatever reason, they turned early. They turned significantly early, like 12, 13 miles early, it looks like. They hit an area just north of Point Arguello at a point called Point Honda, and this is why it's called the Point Honda Disaster. It was a disaster because 20 
23 sailors died. Of the 14 destroyers that were in the captain's squadron, seven of them ran aground and were a total loss. Two of them ran aground but were salvageable, and five of them, well, they managed to avoid the fate of the first seven. You know, it's almost 100 years ago. To this day, it remains the single biggest loss of ships that the Navy has suffered. <laughs> So we've just made the turn around Conception. Now we have following seas and very little wind as we enter the Santa Barbara Channel eastbound. Really beautiful. We just passed Point Conception maybe a couple hours ago. Calm winds now. Maybe two, three knot winds. Santa Barbara Channel welcomes those who cross Point Conception huh. with this stunning sunrise. It's uh, really breathtaking and happy to be here right now. So, nine more hours or so, eight, eight or nine hours, and we'll be in Santa Barbara. It is Labor Day weekend, the start of Labor Day weekend, so. Remains to be seen whether we'll get a slip. Hopefully we do. Rigging the reef point. This was just attached to here, which only pulled this thing this direction. So I'm taking it and I'm going to tie it to the boom oh. with a bowline. And now when we pull, it will pull both down and back. Oh, that's brilliant. So let me try this. Yeah, thanks Chuck. There's some really nice homes over there outside of Santa Barbara. So this is just to the west of Santa Barbara right here. Hi, my name is Chuck. I've been sailing for about almost 20 years now. We have just finished uh, Point Conception, and as you can see, I managed to get myself sunburned. We had a beautiful trip around Point Conception. I think the most beautiful passage I've ever made around that corner. It was windy enough, but not too windy. The waves were not very big. Beautiful night out. More stars than I've seen in the last 10 years. I think there was a meteor shower uh, that night because I saw several big meteorites. We saw whales. We saw dolphins. It's been absolutely a beautiful, beautiful passage down the coast of California. Uh, being able to be on this beautiful boat. This is absolutely a wonderful little pocket cruiser. Very seaworthy, very much an ocean-going yacht. She just handles herself very nicely. It's a privilege to be aboard. It's hard to believe that Chuck and I only met a little more than 24 hours prior, and here we were celebrating Passing Point Conception and then also coming into the marina in Santa Barbara. Labor Day weekend, there was a lot of recreational traffic. Labor Day weekend, but I got to meet with a good buddy of mine that I just don't see often enough. Jason, thanks for making the trip north a little bit to Santa Barbara. It was great seeing you. Press like and subscribe. I'll see you next week on the boat. New episode every Sunday. I'm not as think as you confused I am.